Well, Casey here with CL Creative, where we're teaching you web design and web flow one video at a time. And today we're going to talk about how to create a flexible, you know, bento card type box. So you see these different cards and, and different boxes and things like that all over the internet recently. And I recently created one uh, for my own website and it spanned the entire section. And, and I used Flexbox in order to make this box flexible so that as the screen moves, you know, in and out, or it gets smaller, it automatically flexes with that. It doesn't distort the picture and things like that. And so I'm going to show you how to use Flexbox to make these bento boxes flexible and customized so that your site is always responsive. So much to the computer and check things out. All right, well, here we are in the computer, and this is the section that I was talking about here. It's just this simple card, and let me show you what, what it actually does. And so as you just kind of remove the screen, you're going to notice that when it reaches a certain point, it's going to go ahead and automatically shift. And then when it gets here, you know, that picture is going to stay there, but then that picture gets larger here. But then when it gets down to mobile, the picture gets a little bit smaller as you notice there I'm, I'm really controlling all of this utilizing flexbox and i wanted to show you a few things that is super useful for flexbox and so over here on the left uh, you basically just have this card so i have this card component and then i have some custom code that basically looks and says okay is there you know box md or box sm on there and it's going to put a a box shadow around the bottom this is how i'm able to pull some stuff from figma into webflow very easily uh, and then the next thing i have is i just simply have this wrapper right here and inside that wrapper i have an image of myself and i have made this wrapper and this is kind of what made things a little bit tricky is that i have made it so that the image is more in this circular pattern and uh, the way that I've done that over here on the right, you see radius, and I've just made that 50%, and I've toned this to overflow hidden, so that way it's going to hide the image back there, as well as it's just going to wrap everything and make it into a thing. This right here is just my actual image is width 100%, height 100%, and it's set to cover. And then over here on the other side, I have another wrapper, and inside this wrapper, I have my content, which simply just is a heading and a paragraph and those are styled accordingly now what i really want to focus on on this video is how do we make this you know more dynamic in the sense of or maybe responsive is a better word how do we make this more responsive and one of the things that you know, really helps in making things responsive is setting this up as display flex so over here on the right i have display for the entire card i have this turn on the display flex and then I have that horizontal so that it's going across. And then I also have this on wrap. And I've got a gap in between. Um, and I just have everything right here justified to the center. Now, where things um, really get interesting is when you get into the card wrapper and the content wrapper. And so the card wrapper, what I've actually done is I've gone in and instead of using you know, the shrink if need and uh, grow if possible, as well as don't shrink or grow. What I've actually done is I'm going to here, I'm going to utilize, you know, these more manually, right? And so if you want something to grow, then you're going to use one. If you don't want it to grow, then you're going to use zero. And the same thing with shrink. If you want something to shrink, you'd use one. If you don't want it to shrink, you're going to use zero. And so in this instance, I do not want this image or this wrapper that has this image inside of it. I do not want it to grow and I do not want it to shrink. Um, and then basis is where things are going to get really interesting. And this is what's going to help us create, you know, that wrapping effect. But let's look at what I have over here. Now on this side, I actually do want this paragraph to be able to grow. Um, but I don't want it to shrink at all. So if there's any sort of space that's that's left within this box, then this paragraph wrapper on the right side is going to grow. If there's any space that's left inside of the box, then the image wrapper on the left, it is not going to grow at all. I essentially want to keep it to be about the same size. And where you can control how much space these two are taking up is on your basis. And so what I'm saying here is that this 
wrapper over here is going to take up 65% of the space inside of this large box. And then on this side, my image wrapper, it's going to take up 29%. Now you might be asking yourself, why 29%? Um, why not pick another number? Well, I've chosen 29% in this particular case because what I want to happen is whenever I pull this down, when it gets to a certain size, you notice that it automatically wraps. Now, it hasn't moved down to the next breakpoint yet. I'm simply just controlling that with the wrapper, and that's so that this picture does not end up getting squished. And so if I bring this down to, say, like a 25 or 24 or something like that, notice what, what happens. This image starts getting squished, and that really doesn't look good, right? You don't want your image to look like that, particularly if you're trying to go for the circle look at with that and so what you have to do is just kind of and using percentages i found to be um pretty helpful in this particular case and so i found that right about 29 it's going to wrap at a certain point before it really starts to distort the box you notice that it pushes down and then right about that point right before it starts to distort the circle then it wraps and so playing with this basis using that percentage as well as playing, you know, with the percentage on this side over here. So I could turn this up, you know, say maybe like to 70%. And then you notice that it's not going to wrap down at all. So you need to you leave enough space inside of that box for both of them to fit at the same time. So you've got 65 and then you've also got your 29. And then whenever there's not enough space for both of them to fit within that one of them is going to end up you know it's going to end up wrapping and then this top right here now one of the reasons why my top is not at um, a grow one is because I don't want I don't want this to happen right here I don't want a huge image of myself particularly on desktop whenever this wraps it's like whoa there there's casey right there uh, founder of co creative i don't want that to happen and so one of the ways that you can do it or keep that from happening is just put this on a zero grow and you're going to notice the same thing here in in this instance what i do is i have this image at 50 percent because i really just want it and this basis is, is controlling like how much um, space this is also taking up as well particularly when you have grow set to zero and so if I make my basis more you're gonna notice that that I'm gonna get bigger inside of this particular box and so you can really just adjust this to taste and so I, I really liked how I looked about at at 50 percent particularly on say the iPad now when you move down here you notice that I do have grow set to one and so it's going to take up all available space on your mobile landscape and then here I've got grow set back to zero and I'm taking up 90% of the box now I can set grow to one and I'm going to grow a little bit bigger you know maybe that's not that big of a deal but I really just did not want my image to be really large particularly when you know you're on like a larger iphone or something like that i wanted it to stay consistent at 90 percent of of the box and the way that i'm doing that is is with this 90 percent basis now you may be asking well why would i not just utilize um these image or this width down here well if you notice you really can't do that um it gives you this warning modify the basis value in flex child settings to control this elements width and so that's one reason that I'm doing it here but another reason is this is just the best practice to keep this all together all of your flex child settings uh, working together within this grow shrink and flex basis and so that's really it that's all that you need to do in order to create these flexible cards um, creating these images to get as large or as small as you you know really would like them to get um, utilizing flexbox and f the flex child settings grow shrink and flex basis so hopefully this will help you to create some cards in the future that will be responsive on both desktop ipad mobile landscape as well as mobile and to make that pretty easy to do. Hope to see you in the next video.